All right, YouTube. This is me finally getting around to doing a Let's Play of 007 GoldenEye, the newest 007 installment on a Nintendo console anyway. I know that Bloodstone is coming out, but this is all I got at the moment. So it is the spiritual sequel to the Nintendo 64 game GoldenEye, which I don't own. I haven't played all the way through necessarily, but I know the gist of it, I've watched Let's Plays, and I'm going to kind of judge how much this has to do with the old one, how much it follows it. I know it will be quite different because it's Daniel Craig, not Pierce Brosnan, there actually is a huge difference. This isn't a totally blind run, as you can see I already have a profile and game set up. I've done the first mission just to kind of figure the game out get the controls down, and I've played a lot of multiplayer. So, I guess I'll start it off on Agent, because I'm not a total noob for this. Okay. Training! The funnest thing to ever do in a game. Just kidding, it's usually awful, because it is drawn out too long. Controls are usually pretty much the same anyway. Boom headshot. Boom, boom. One more. <laughs> so the graphics are pretty good for Wii, I'd say. There are com some kind of mess ups that I don't like so much. Like, you know, the hair is pretty good from the front because it's kind of designed to be able to... You're supposed to see it from the front, so it looks good from the front. But on the sides, it's got, like, lines instead of actual texture... Or just textured mush with some lines. It looks almost like from behind. But it's, it's pretty good. Environments are pretty good, even if they're low res sometimes or not satisfying, whatever. Gameplay is pretty good. It's kind of a bit more like COD than a 007 game, but oh well, you get used to it. Okay, let's see. More weapons. Take this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Huh. Well, that was terrible. But check this out. This is how terrible the aim can be sometimes with just the recoil. I can aim over here. And I still took out that entire target. Whatever. Another weird thing about this game. This is how you use switches. Beat down. Apparently not only is Daniel Craig aggressive in his fighting style, but he also feels the need to kill switches. With force. That's how we open doors in this world, get used to it. <sighs> Vault. Crouch. Open. Now if I can actually remember, this is where we first get to shoot somebody, but it's only one person. As an experiment... You know what, actually no, I'm just going to try and do this as fast as I can. There we go. Instead of seeing if he calls other people when you miss, I'm just going to kill him right off the bat. Try and keep training as short as possible. Oh look at person. Boom headshot. Into the elevator! And slap the switch. Go down. This is, I believe, our first cutscene. Turn up the volume. For the past few years, a high ranking Russian general, Arkady Arumov, has been stealing Russian military equipment and selling it on the black market. We have reason to believe he's about to ship a cache of high-tech weapons to a terrorist organization that has been targeting our embassies. Along with Agent 006, your mission is to infiltrate his base of operations, destroy the weapons cache, and, if need be, eliminate General Orgumov. Agent 006 has already surveyed the facility. Time is of the essence, 007. An unmarked cargo plane is already en route, you to pick up those weapons for the terrorists in 45 minutes. Do you copy? Confirm. We're in position. Good. 
Good luck, James. MI6, out. Sorry if you saw my head there. Yeah, I'm not using a capture card. I'm using a camera. Too cheap for a capture card. Well, not really too cheap. I just don't have money right now that I can get one with. Oh well, we'll deal with it. Let's see. This is the dam, reminiscent of the last game. Because it is, well, the dam, the dam, same thing. But this one is a lot different in, in its approach at it, you will see. Like I said, this is supposed to, this was supposed to be a blind run, but it took me a while to get it started, and because of some problems, so I actually did the first mission already. And yeah, I'm going to turn up the volume for cutscenes, but I'm going to probably keep it lower for now. Just because, I don't know, I'm not a loud noises person. Yeah, call me an idiot. Watch this be a quick time sequence. See their buddies. Okay. No, I'm gonna try my outstanding stealth abilities. Haha. -ha. Kill him. I'll kill him later. Maybe I should wait for him to leave before I kill this guy. Last time I did this, I managed to draw everybody's attention to me, and Alec had to kill him. Yes, yes you will wait. Oh shit. That was your first demonstra demonstration of my stealth skills. As you can see, I am simply a master of the stealthy arts. Oh crap. How'd they even see me? Yeah, by the way, if you, I don't know if it, you can actually hear it too well. I tried to test, and I think the audio is okay. But when you hear that weird noise, and, it, and you hear a heartbeat, then that's usually when you're supposed to be stealth, and somebody notices you, and you've got to take them out before the epic music starts, because that's when they've noticed you, or 